At the end of the last chapter, we said that there was a uh, wonderful, powerful tool for controlling animations and preventing you from having to set a million keyframes to get it just the way you want, and that was something called the graph editor. So in this uh, chapter, we're going to go in and open the graph editor and start working with it. But before we can open the graph editor, we've got to uh, open Maya and then open our project. So let's get to that. Just come up and uh, launch Maya. And now we need to set our project. So file and down towards the bottom, we have set project. And our project's called Little Squishy. There it is. And choose set. And the project set, but we don't have a scene. So file, open scene. And there's my squishy. So we'll open it. And there it is. And if you remember, the problem is when we run the animation that the, uh, the sphere is squishing before it gets to, uh, it gets to the plane. So we're going to deal with that, and we're going to deal with that in the graph editor. The way we open the graph editor is come up here to the Windows menu, and we've got Animation Editors Graph Editor. Okay, and here it is, and uh, select the sphere, and here are the graphs of all the animation channels. Now you'll notice that the uh, the translate Y actually shows as this big sine wave. The others don't really look that uh, that deflected, and that's because remember translate Y goes from a, a high of 18 to a low of 1.75. The others just go from either 1 to 1.291 or 1 down to 0 0.6. So not much change relative to the amount of change in the translate. That's okay, we can, uh, we can look at these individually and do scaling on them and whatnot. We can uh, isolate them by just coming uh, over here and selecting just one and just it shows. And uh, let's make this a little bigger. Okay, and let's go, uh, let's go back to the translate. Y, and when you click on the line, you see you get these little control handles on the edge here. And that's what we're going to use, actually, is the, the main way of, of altering the animation, is doing things with these control handles. You can take and, uh, and change the, uh, the angles of them to uh, change how the animation comes into them and goes out of them. You can break the tangents so that it's not a smooth line. You can do all kinds of different things with uh, with just manipulating the control handles on this uh, animation curve and there's uh, tools up at the top of the grid there that you can do use to use some of this and we're going to do uh, we're going to go through some of that some of the uh, the most common of those functions over the next couple of videos but that's it for now we just wanted to show how to get in there and get it open and get things selected so we'll end this video here and we'll see you in the next one